Greetings, this is Spec Ops 56 coming to you this time from the radio restoration and repair bench. Uh, I thought that uh, it was about time to do another update on the Swan 250 6 meter tube rig restoration project that I've been working on off and on with uh, John's help, uh, or more like I'm helping him. <laughs> uh, and I'll let you know where we are at so far. Now it's been quite a while since we worked on it. In fact, a lot longer since the last the last time uh, I did an update than what I had uh, anticipated. Uh, various reasons for that, just didn't get to it. Well, we decided to finally to get to it today and we've had a good bit of success. Now when the last time we updated, uh, basically, we had gotten it to where we have uh, had RF output, and uh, we uh, thought we had a problem with the volume control. We tracked that down. We figured out there was nothing wrong with the volume control. Um, we just uh, we only thought we had a problem. Let's just put it that way. Uh, so we left it uh, at that point because right then I did not have the proper equipment to go any further in testing it. Um, I did not have another six meter rig to uh, test, transmit, and receive with it. And I did not have a, a signal generator that went to the proper frequencies to be able to test it and align it. And uh, nor did I have uh, an oscilloscope, and even if I did, I haven't the slightest idea how to use an oscilloscope. So we were kind of, uh, kind of in limbo right then. Well, in the meantime, I've since acquired a, a good deal on a nice Alenco uh, rig that includes six meters. And so today we've been doing some, some work on it and some testing. And uh, the first thing we did, we found out that uh, it, it receives. We were able to receive the signal from the Alenco. However, it is pretty far off frequency. It's about 150 kilocycles off frequency. Um, and, and on the uh, receive side. Uh, I had the Elenco transmitting at 50.250 and uh, the, the Swan was receiving it at 50.235. So uh, that's something that we'll need to address next. And uh, we tried transmitting. This a static Model 531 microphone came with the rig when I bought it, okay? And um, it, we, we were uh, transmitting with the Swan and it, you know, it could hear the relay kick in and all we could get was noise and heterodyning uh, on receive on my Lenko. And uh, so we needed to figure out why we were not getting any modulation. So uh, first thing we did was we checked the uh, pin voltages on the 7360 balanced modulator tube. And they were fine. And we checked all the other tubes voltages in line in, in that circuit and could find no problem. We were, we were getting kind of stumped. And then we started looking at uh, the connections for the plug, for the microphone plug and the jack on the rig. And I noticed that the jack on the rig was a three connector jack. And the plug on this microphone that the guy sent me with the rig was only a two connector plug. And the two connectors on that plug were the ones that were working, the relay and the ground. So I went and uh, got out of my stash a three connector plug 
we reattached the new plug to this a static microphone and lo and behold we had modulation and so that's where we're at now the only problem we have now is that the di the is the difference in the frequency that we need to we need to recalibrate this swan and the fact that it seems to to drift uh, which I knew these old rigs drift till we have them warmed up. We tried using it and we had forgotten that we had not warmed it up sufficiently before we tried it because uh, we'd had it turned on and off while we were checking things, working on it. And so that's why I think that when we, when we tried uh, transmitting, uh, it, we got, uh, John heard me great in uh on the uh on the on the, on the Alenco and uh he was garbled in here and then I was garbled in there so I think we had not sufficiently allowed it to warm up to keep it from drifting so much so that's the point where we're at now on this rig uh we're in the process of allowing it to warm up for a good 30 minutes before we attempt uh, the transmitting test again and, and I don't think I don't think it'll drift quite so badly this time I think we'll have some good transmit audio from it and uh, our next step will be to do the receiver alignment on it and uh, try to try to get it so that it's at the proper frequency for transmit and receive now I still don't have the proper equipment to do that so we're just going to use my Linko rig, modern rig, uh, as the uh, signal source for doing those adjustments. I should be should be very good because my Linko just came back from the repair shop where I had it put back into factory specs and everything tested and checked, and it's working perfectly. So that's what we're going to use for our further adjustments. And once we've done that and we've got it working good that way then their next step is I have a list of modifications that were put out later by the factory that were recommended that owners of this rig do to increase the frequency stability and to make other improvements and we're going to go right down that list and we're going to make all of those factory recommended improvements and then we'll test it adjust as necessary the next thing we'll do is we'll install the cooling fan that we talked about earlier. Once we've done all that, we've tested it out here with my rig, then the next thing we're going to do is take it out to the ham shack, hook it up to the 6 meter antenna outside, and I'm going to test it on the local 6 meter net on the air and see how we did. Then the next update you see should be once we've uh, done all the all the adjustments modifications and are ready to test it on the air so until then this is spec ops 56 saying over and out okay it's been warming up for a good half hour it seems to be working okay we're going to check that out now This is Kilo Foxtrot 4, Charlie Zulu Victor. A little bit of fine tuning and I got you in just fine. How about me? Uh, a little, little bit raspy, but not bad. Uh, it'll work. Okay, we're going to go ahead and test the uh, the Yeah, roger that. Okay, well, then uh, I'm going to uh, let's trade places and I'll set up the camera so that the uh, YouTube audience can see what it sounds like out on the Alenco, what this rig sounds like. 
Okay, we're out here with the Olinko, and uh, we're going to find out uh, how the swan sounds over the air. Okay, well, we uh, we have signal. It's a pretty pretty decent signal. Uh, it, this the swan definitely drifts uh, because you went from being clear on two five zero four to now you were clear on two five zero six. So we're definitely going to have to work on the drifting problem, but the fact that we do have good fairly clear clean audio now that's a big step forward yep you're clear as a bell right now you didn't drift one iota you stayed right on frequency all right well this is kilo foxtrot for charlie zulu victor and i am clear this is kilo kilo four foxtrot bravo victor i am clear and there you have it We've made a good bit of progress. Well, I just got that on tape because I was talking to the to the video camera. <laughs> so stop talking. <laughs> okay. Anyway, <laughs> we've made a lot of progress, but uh, we're definitely going to have to address the uh, frequency drift problem with that old Swan 250. Great galaxy, what are those weird things?